Hello and welcome people there, my name is Jake Dragon 7 and welcome back to Smash Squad. Before we start, I'm um, just one thing I want to say, if videos have been going back up uh, pretty quickly lately, I'm sorry that it was a very long hiatus where I would kind of upload sportsly, that's still happening, I'm really sorry, it's just, I'm, you know, last school work, particularly just getting ready for high school, that's a thing that takes a lot of time. And, yeah, other than that, I'm, I don't know, there's not really much to say. I guess sometimes I'm also just a little lazy, but there is something else I've been, I just started lately that might be taking up a lot of my time. Um, I will try to make sure I get videos out, so, if that has been happening well, when this goes up, this is being recorded very far in advance, it's just like, um, I practiced for this series, and it's been a, it's been a really long time since I've, um, even recorded the last episode, but I still haven't gotten uploading, I only, I don't remember what I uploaded when I recorded it, but, if I said, if, but I might not have actually uploaded anything since I recorded the last episode in terms of the Smash Squad. Alright though, so enough of that little chitter chatter you guys probably don't want to really hear, especially if you're not really, like, even checking my channel, just like, oh hey, what's this, this seems weird. Um, because this is definitely the weirdest theme I've covered so far, and probably will stay the weirdest theme I've covered for a while. So, um, the theme is, like, what I like to call Not Quite Mario, which the title says up there. So, basically, these are characters that originated from the Mario series and continue to appear in the Mario series, but have kind of branched out into their own series. So these are characters like Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and Wario. Diddy Kong also would go into this theme, but of course, three characters are episode. And either way, Diddy Kong actually fits into next episode's theme, and he's in it. So a little spoiler for the next episode. I usually don't do that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the gist of it. So one of these characters, I've, I've never made any of these characters. I've really played them. But one of them, I actually ended up being able to pick up and play well really quickly. And I'm actually pretty excited. I might, I might be able to do some cool things this episode on purpose. <laughs> Because a lot of the times when I do do cool things, it's just me being like, oh, well that just kind of happened. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with Yoshi, I guess. Um, yes, if you couldn't tell, I really want to be on challenge mode. Alright, so let's give this a go. So Yoshi has quite a few really good tools. He has, um, well things like his grab aren't particularly good. Yoshi's Nair, in fact his aerials in general are really good. His up B is an incredibly useful tool. Um, his dash attack's pretty deep. Um, that person really liked their shield. <laughs> yeah, though, his dash attack's pretty decent. It has a little bit of lag, but I do still tend to use it a fair amount because it's not, like, super laggy and, you know... A Yoshi does have a spike on his forward air, of course. Um, and yeah, his Nair comes out pretty much instantly. That makes it, it makes it one of the best Nairs in the game. And pretty much Yoshi's most valuable tool. Um, there's also Yoshi's double jump, and Yoshi's back air um, is generally more... I feel like Yoshi's back air has more kind of uses than his forward air, simply because it comes out quicker. I'm do. I'm just waiting for them to use that charge shot. That's kind of what I'm a little bit worried about here. Alright, I'm just... I haven't really ever used Yoshi's down air off stage. I'm a little bit nervous about doing that. Because Yoshi's recovery is not... It's not really bad, but it's not great either. I feel like if I just drop down, I could probably use it properly, but... I'm just very, I'm just very concerned that I'm not gonna... Ah, come on! <laughs> yeah, I guess Yoshi's roll... Oh. I'm trying to jump here. Yoshi's roll is a bit laggy, and wow, this person's being really annoying. Alright, now you can use eggs off stage to kind of try to annoy people. Oh. So, um, Yoshi doesn't really have a traditional recovery. Like Jigglypuff, his up B um, doesn't send him upward at all, but he doesn't really need it because of how far his double jump goes. So, he doesn't have multiple jumps like Jigglypuff, but the one second jump he does have is insanely good. So,. Also, if I'm not mistaken, his uppy, um, not his uppy, his double jump has super armor on it. I'm not exactly sure when, but I know at least some frames of it do have armor, so. Okay, okay. Wow, that was, that was pretty bad. Alright. Should have waited a second there. Oh, I think I missed. I think I didn't jump. I think I need to use my first jump. Alright. Alright. So. 
You know, the Yoshi is really fun. <laughs> I enjoy playing him quite a bit. Alright, is that it? Yeah, Yoshi, from what I've seen, his forest match actually isn't one of the stronger ones, but it, it feels like it is. Maybe it's also because it's fairly quick. It's not like super quick by any means, but... I'm trying to air- I'm trying to air dodge past it. Game! Jesus. This person really likes their rolls, apparently. Alright, Yoshi also has a really good up air. I have not been using the up air properly this, um, this video so far. Yoshi's up air is really strong and it comes out really quick, so it's not actually too difficult to use. I'm just. It seems like whenever I send Samus up, she's always at a high percent and she goes like. And then she tries to like delay getting back to the ground, so I always kind of mistime it. Alright, come on. Ah, crap, okay. <laughs> I kind of forgot to use my second jump. It's weird because I don't remember double jumping. It's just like I guess I missed this. Like I missed jumping off of the stage. I've done that before in this series. I didn't even. I didn't even before in this battle. Well, I was hoping I could have done better there, but I did a few cool things, I guess. So you know, he's definitely my best out of the three, though, which is actually a bad sign considering I lost with him to someone that was that that was not someone that was very great. Uh. uh. Yeah, I hate Samus play. It's like that. It's just roll around the whole time and hey, just constantly use charge shot. Alright, I guess we'll go Donkey Kong next. Honestly, I feel like my Donkey Kong and my Wario are at about the same level. For those of you that uh, main the main, uh, <laughs> for those of you that main the main, might be able to tell me which one, like both of them, you might be able to sit, tell me which one you think is going to be better. And then look at that, we have Yoshi. Uh, damn it, Amsa. <laughs> instead of, uh, instead of John, it's Amsa. Alright. So Donkey Kong is, uh, yeah, Donkey Kong is a pretty interesting character. I feel like every time I say the character's name, my voice cracks. <laughs> Donkey Kong! <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, so Donkey Kong is a pretty interesting character. He's one of the faster heavyweights. I think the only one that may be faster than him is Charizard. Um. And, but he packs, like, he packs a really good punch, though. He's very, uh. He has a really good running speed. And he has a lot of. One thing that Donkey Kong really has a lot of is, uh, spikes. He has four different spikes, only two of which you'll really be using a lot. But the other two can be really good if you just like playing as Donkey Kong, like disrespecting people. But yeah, he has the most spikes of any character in his regular moveset. Um, he also has that tall, which I just love. <laughs> but yeah, he also has uh, a lot of very powerful smashes that you'd expect from a heavyweight. However, they're not, I mean, they're not really fast. If you have two characters that are both using a smash, unless it's another heavyweight like Bowser, you're likely to get kind of, you're likely to have them go before you. Um, not if it was Bowser. Because they're, they, honestly, they're a lot slower than they seem. Like, they do seem pretty quick. But they're really not. DK is also pretty heavy. I'm not sure the exact number. But, oh yeah, I actually think right there, Yoshi's a su uh, super armor on his um, floater jump activated. I wasn't exactly paying attention because I was talking, but I did think I saw it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I spiked with DK. Alright, that was a... Wow. Huh. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, my Yoshi is way better than my DK and my Wario. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, what's he even saying? Oh, yeah, uh, DK, I don't know exactly how heavy he is. I think, if I had to guess, I'd say he's probably third or fourth behind DDD and Bowser. Oh, thank you. Here, I have a GG tag here. Alright, of course I like, I, I like to fight different people, so we're gonna go around, and now we have Wario, um, yeah, I'm definitely not that great with Wario. The thing is that I feel like Wario has a lot of moves that I'm better at using than with Donkey Kong's moveset, but at the same time, there aren't really many moves in Donkey Kong's moveset that I should know how to use, that I don't know how to use, that makes any sense. It probably doesn't, in fact, it, yeah, I'm sure it doesn't, but you'll probably see what I mean in a minute when I start talking about Wario and why I suck at Wario. Um, yeah. And this is usually the color I use. Sometimes I go with Abadongo's co colors. If it's a character I don't really mean, there's no color I like, I usually just go with the color of a Smasher that I like. Um, you're actually going to see that because I already spoiled these going to be in the next episode. You're going to see that with Diddy next week where I use Yuri's color. 
Why not? So, Wario. Um, Wario is a very aerial-based character. He's in a, he's actually another, um, heavyweight. Oh, okay. So, Wario has a lot of really good aerials. His up air, um, his up air is the laggiest, but it deals a ton of damage. And for people that know how to air dodge, it can be really useful. This guy is pretty competent, but I remember yesterday I fought someone that had no idea how to air dodge. So, I could just juggle them with Wario's up air, which is really, it was really funny. But Wario has a really good forward air. Is yeah, Wario's forward air, back air, and a lot of, in some cases, neutral air. And basically, his best airs. I could have, could have done a forward smash there. Um, back air is, of course, a little bit slower, and I feel like it's harder to land, but it's a lot. It's pretty strong. So, oh wow, uh, not on it. And I like how he waited to leave his uh the like respawn area until after I was done taunting. Because some people, some people, I hate it when people will like. I mean, maybe, I feel like I've probably done it a few times by accident, but I really hate it when you're in the middle of a taunt. Like, you're a stock ahead and you taunt. And then, they just come in and attack you immediately. They don't even let you finish your taunt. Oh, that was not supposed to be that. So, yeah. Um, anyway, the Warriors forward air is an absolute godsend, though. It comes out immediately, and it deals... It's not really good for knockback, but it does deal a decent amount of damage. So, you can pretty much just wall people out with forward air. Um... Same is kind of true with back air. You can't really, you can't really spam it as much, but it still comes out decently quick and has decent range. Um, Mario's nair can basically just cover all around him. It's not too great. I definitely prefer forward air and back air, but Mario's nair can still be really good. It's just that when you, I feel like when you're first learning Mario, you're gonna struggle with the, oh my god, what? I forgot that I lost. What? I don't even remember losing my second jump. And then, so just up to you. I kind of thought that when it propels you upward, it would have gotten me over the ledge, but no, if I didn't, and then I lost too much momentum, and I died. Well, well fuck me, I guess. I'm right, sorry about that little cut there. So we're gonna go again with Wario. Uh, I didn't actually get to go over any of his specials, except for no, I didn't even go. No, I didn't go over any of his specials. So, although this time I'll actually do the costume. Uh, I really hope I don't do poorly here. Uh, for Abadongo. No, nah, I'm definitely not going to be playing well here. Don't expect me to play playing well at all. I might play a little bit better. I might not skip my recovery. I hope I don't skip my recovery, but I probably will, because Wario is, is not... I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Okay. Ooh, oh, wait, this guy wants... Hmm. Yeah, I, I usually prefer Wario, the WarioWare design, but... uh. I do kind of for a variety, because like, I don't really have any specific color. I, if, there, if I had to pick a favorite, it would definitely be the red one that I used last match. That's the one I usually use. Well, you know, sometimes a little bit of variety. So. Alright. So, Wario's down throw isn't really too good. I just kind of use it for, like... I just kind of use it so that I do something with my grab. Um. Alright. So. I tried using Wario's up air. There we go. So, that's Wario's up air. Like I said, it's really, it's really laggy, so... It wasn't too much, and Wario's down, I didn't even go over his down air either. His down air is pretty good, um... I don't usually use it too much, just because I usually don't use down airs in general. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, okay. But, it is, it is a pretty good one. It doesn't spike, um, I don't think Wario has any moves that can spike, unless you count Wario Man for his final smash, which, of course, you know... <laughs> you're playing full glory. You really- Whoa! I am so stupid, how the- f Oh my god, I'm retarded. <sighs> oh my god. Anyway, the Wario's specials, because I haven't gotten the chance to go over those yet. Uh, so Wario's bike will basically just dash him around the stage, and it can give a lot of extra oomph to his recovery if you're recovering high. If you're recovering low, you really don't want to use it that much. Um, the only problem I've really ever had with this bike is that I feel like sometimes the game just doesn't let me get off of it. Usually it's supposed to press like the jump button or an attack button to get off it, but I feel like that never works for me. So that's something that's always bothered me about Wario. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good special. And you can kind of mess with people, too. Oh, that was really risky. Um, then there's also his up B, which takes him a decent distance. I've actually seen people recover. Like, he, he doesn't get more distance than you'd think. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, I was hoping. I definitely thought there was way too much lag on that. Um, so the bike, you can just kind of do stuff like this to mess with people. Although they can definitely punish you if they don't suck. Um, with his, with Wario's Charm, you can eat things like the bike to gain one health, so that's kind of good. Oh, come on! I thought he even, I thought I hit him there. 
Uh, Wario has a lot of uh, slow and strong smashes. His down smash doesn't seem to be too strong, and I usually just whiff it. But yeah, there's also a um, neutral B for Wario's Tomp, which can just kind of, which is like a command grab. So it's definitely very useful. Although I, t I feel like I don't never get the most damage I could get out of it. I'm actually gonna fight this guy again because I think I can beat him. Uh, yeah. I guess I can get to give really show you Tom. Also, uh, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now. What about the waft? Um, let's just not talk about me with the warrior waft. To put it simply, I am terrible at the warrior waft. I'm not gonna. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot the All right. To put it simply, I absolutely suck at warrior waft. Um, simple as that. I I can never, never find the area. Okay, there's well, there's warriors down there for you guys. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, back on track here. I can never hit anyone with the Wario Waft. I'm not exactly sure what the hitboxes are supposed to be. Um, that was kind of supposed to be a neutral A, but I was holding. I guess I was probably holding for when I press A. Anyway, um, okay, okay. So, basically though, with Wario Waft, I can never. Well, I'm playing Carbo right now. Anyway, though, I can never get like the exact position right. And I'm not exactly sure why either. I don't, because I don't know like exactly how close your opponent has to be with Wario for it to hit. And I guess that no one, like I can never get anyone close enough to me. And the thing is too, like I always wait until I have it fully charged, just so that I make sure I'm using it optimally. And I know that still works, okay. So yeah, I was trying to use the chomp there. There we go. I'll keep in mind, I probably am not using that the best. I mean, and I mean, like in terms of getting, at, like not not utilizing it, just getting damage. Cause I can, I never I never feel like I get full damage off of it. I think he really just do that. Oh crap! Okay, yeah, he just gave me ten percent. Oh crap! Okay, okay. Is that it? Damn it! He still recovered. To be fair, I kind of needs it. Oh crap. No! Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting a little frustrated right now. There we go. Look at that beautiful combo. Void air and the forward smash. Oh man. Just barely missed that uh, forward smash there. That time. Oh man. The yeah, ice counter seems to last pretty long. Fuck. Man, ah, uh, yeah. So, Warriors, Warriors back doesn't always have the moose rage. Oh, come on! I forgot about how much rage that move has. Man, that, yeah, the ice neutral B has some absolutely ridiculous hitboxes on it. Alright, well, GG, I guess. Well, uh, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with Yoshi again. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. So. Loading. Alright. So, Mario against Yoshi. Uh, it's yeah, definitely something you actually expect to happen after a certain number of Mario games. Especially with Mario Maker now. I like how they even had an event course that was centered around Yoshi, and it, you had to kill like two Yoshis to beat it for Mario Maker. That was probably one of the most. That was probably the most difficult event course because you had to. Because it was kind of like you had to figure out how you had to get Yoshi across and all that. There's a lot of puzzles in it. Okay. Well, I'm not doing great here. 
Yeah, so sometimes because of the um, a little slightly extra height that the egg gives you, sometimes you can use it to try to flutter kind of a little bit more over enemies like I did just there. Not usually something I'd really recommend doing is like a pro tactic. Now it's supposed to be up air. That's annoying. But yeah, sometimes you can do com and sometimes you can just do combos like that with eggs. It's definitely really fun. I I, I really do love playing Yoshi. It's just like when you're in the air with Yoshi, there's just a, like a flow. I don't really know how to explain. There's just a way like a feeling. Yoshi could have actually fit in with the next episode too that Diddy Kong's in. Not think about it. It'll make more sense once it's released, of course. Although I am very excited for that episode. It actually does have some characters I'm really excited to play. Oh man, alright. Yeah, so Yoshi's forward air is pretty laggy, of course. It's funny though, because I've honestly, like, I feel like sometimes it comes out really quick, but sometimes it just doesn't at all. Like, there have really been moments when it seemed like it wouldn't have come out and it did. And there's moments like that where you think it would have come out before, but, like, early, and then it didn't. Like, I, I don't really understand the timing on Yoshi's forward air at all. And wow, this guy is destroying me right now. Well, it used to be an equal match. What is that? What the? F what is that combo? That is just. I could have, could have baited that. That's still not enough. Okay. Okay, both these are spiking forward at the exact same time. All right, there we go. So that's an example of how good Yuji's up air is. It's actually a lot like. I feel like it's a lot like Fox's up air for those of you Fox means. One of his most yes, yeah, one of Yoshi's most useful tools. Um, you can even combo in the up air sometimes out of down throw. All right, well this guy is clearly uh, well he's clearly very smart at using combos. Up B, up B, up B. <laughs> uh. I, I really shouldn't get that mad at one hit combos with someone who frequently plays Ness. It has Ness is my best character. Forward air, forward air, forward air, forward air. <laughs> oh yeah, for people that don't understand DI and air dodge, you can probably get four four bears in one string. Alright. Um let's hope I don't suck this time because I'm honoring another Smash player. And now we're Amsta. Actually nothing about it. Oh, the last guy that played as Red Yoshi in this video was absolutely god awful, and we're fighting a Sheik. Is that means about to get totally screwed, or that this per or that this person is gonna be really bad? Dude, is the Sheik either the best character in the game, or people think she's good, but have absolutely no idea how she works and absolutely suck at it? That's supposed to be a downer. Damn it! And I am thinking that this is the latter. Oh god. This guy is completely incompetent and chic. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I don't play chic enough to know how you're supposed to use those bombs, but it's not like that. Okay, well that was definitely bad angling. Alright, so... Yeah, so sometimes if you don't hit directly with the down B, you can still hit people with the little um, stars that come out of it. Which don't deal a lot of damage, but they can kind of interrupt interrupt combos, so kind of just throw you off a little bit. See, like that. It's definitely like the most useful thing, but it's still something you can keep in mind if you want to look at the good side of things. Now, that time he actually does send you in the free fall, if I'm not mistaken, so you're lucky you're right by the ledge there. Watch the flow. My person at least understands the concept of the air dodge. I, I get- I, I just get so confused when I fight people that don't even know how to- oh. I had a little bit of faith in you there, but never mind. You, you know how to air dodge, you don't know how to rec what? What? I mean, uh, I just don't understand for glory sometimes. Uh, I mean, recovering with Sheik might not be, she might not be one of the easiest characters for this day, but it can't be that difficult.
I mean, come on. That was just... What was that? That was... You just let them hit you, basically. No, you're just like... No, you didn't, you didn't even troll... Okay, with the recovery, anyway, you didn't even try. That's what I meant. Yeah, you just let me kill you. That was it. Like, that, you could have recovered from that. And I probably wouldn't have approached you because I'm a little bit freaked out about what's going on. I mean, I did have an extra stop, so I guess there wasn't much to worry about. Oh, here. Oh, <laughs> that, was the idol, that was his idol animation. The second I thought it was taunting, and I'm like, oh, okay, let me taunt back. And then I was like, and then he immediately came after me. I'm like, oh, wait, that's an idol animation? I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's just how quick it came out. Does that make sense? Um, so, uh, should I just shut up? I'm sorry, children. <laughs> They're not for young yet. And what is this fox doing? And the worst part is, I know I'm gonna lose. I know I'm gonna lose. I absolutely know I'm going to lose right now. Maybe not. I'm just gonna taunt. You know, if he hits me with his forward health. Oh, I am so scared right now. What is he doing? What is this guy? I'm just, I'm just, you know what? It's like... Why? Just why? You know what? I won with Wario. I won. I won. Guys, like, don't you know I'm, I'm really, really good at Wario. I can beat anybody with my Wario. It's like I don't even have to try. <laughs> I just can't. I right, haven't seen enough of Donkey Kong this episode, so let us get expanding. Or, um, be expanding if this guy's actually good. Because I'm, honestly, I know the, the last match might not make you think that, but believe me, I'm not good as Donkey Kong. Alright, Samus. Another Samus. Oh, wait. There we go. Mutual respect. <laughs> That was a really weird opening. I, I liked it though. <laughs> it was like it was like a little standoff between bound, between a galactic bounty hunter and a uh, weird and a uh, pig monkey. All right. All right. Yes, yeah, so Donkey Kong definitely can take advantage of spikes really well with both his forward air and his down air. Um, he also has the cargo though, which I did I did use it last time. I just never really like explicitly went over. Like I never mentioned it. One thing also I do want to mention is Wario's um, not Wario. Well, Wario's a good there too, but DK's air is really good. Uh, and so it's just, even though I haven't used it, DK's down smash is also pretty good. I don't really use DK's up smash too much, but his down and forward smashes are both really good. So. Anyway, though, um, yeah, so he does have two sp um, aerials that can spike in his down air and his forward air. So forward air can cover in front of you, and down air can cover below you. I'm pretty sure down air is a little bit faster. Um, so think about the thing is, so the thing about DK's down smash is that it sends people straight up. For, well, not straight up, but it sends them like upwards, and then so uh, down. Uh, let me think. Down smash. Does down smash is um, vertical knockback? And no. Uh, okay. Uh, Forward smash has oh crap horizontal knockback. Uh, now DK's recovery is infamously pretty bad. He can actually recover a really good distance uh, horizontally, but his upbeat his his first upbeat, but it carries him almost nowhere vertically. So you kind of have to keep that into account. You can go really like you can go long distances, you just can't go height like high distances. If that makes any sense. I know I'm really good at explaining things, aren't I? And well, Samus is just kind of doing the same exact thing over and over again. Alright, there we go. Making progress. My oh, man, I almost broke shield. Alright, yeah, see, as you can see there, like, DK's, um... Up, he took him across the entirety of Final Destination. So... Or at least almost the entirety, but even still, I'm pretty sure he started slightly off stage. So... Well, I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying he instead of I. It's not like I'm trying to speak in third person or anything. It's like I'm seeing DK as an intimate enemy, so... I don't even know. But yeah, DK's forward smash, like, it can take him, or, um... Up B. 
excuse me, it can take him across the like a, across the entirety of Final Destination, but it'll take you like one foot upwards. It's really underwhelming. Uh, also, DK's forward air has a lot of startup lag, so. Oh, it's actually gonna be in. Okay, not quite enough, but Samus actually is somewhat heavy. Oh, that was supposed to be. Okay. Almost got him. I think he has a pretty good back air. That's just a pretty good back throw from what I've seen. It's not the best kill throw by any means, but it's still good. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit him with the last hit, which is the only one that matters in this match attack, usually. Ugh! There we go! Got the read. Expanded a few dongs, but not really, because that was some pretty crappy DK play. Alright, I think I'm gonna do one more with Wario. Because I haven't really had a great Wario match. And then I'll rack up the- and then I'll rack up- and then I'll wrap up the episode. Alright, let's do it. I won more against Bin. Bin. That's a, a very strange name. I have to I'll, I'll roll with it. Okay. Alright, so we got a Shulk. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm doing crappy so far. He's actually a pretty competent Shulk player. I mean, if I, well, I don't know if I would have had enough range to hit him. I probably wouldn't have, but look like if I it looked there, like if I had waited, I would have actually been able to hit him. See, there, there, right there is like how really you can just kind of rack up a ton of damage with forward air really easily. Oh, here we go. Come on. All right. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Wario is actually fairly heavy. He may not look at it first, but he actually is, believe me. Uh, if I had read that roll, that would have been epic. Fortunately, I didn't, because I'm too good. This guy actually knows that I have some strong attacks, apparently. You know, Shulk does have some really good tools. It's kind of why I still made him, even though... Well, I watched probably just because of A, Xenoblade, and all the quotes, and because uh, of his... His Monado gimmick is just so much fun. I seriously wish there were more tournament shows. That make me so happy. You know, if you guys have actually ever seen a really good tournament show, let me know. I want to see it. And yeah, I'm not doing well. I'm not gonna win this. Hey, no, maybe I can take a sock. You know what? When you're really bad at the game, sometimes you just gotta um, you just gotta kind of aspire to do some things that are cool. Well, probably should have DI'd out at first, I guess. <laughs> uh, Alright, well. I went pretty poorly. It's a great way to end the, the episode. Honestly, it's not that unfitting. Alright, so I will see you all next time for the next theme that I've pretty much already spoiled. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, and if you have any suggestions for themes I can do for the future in the series, uh, leave them down in the comments, and maybe I'll give them a shot if they look good. Remember, they have to have um, three characters, one thing in common, make it interesting. Uh, also, because I have a long list of themes that I'm going to do already planned, if my theme's already planned, I'll just let you know that I already planned it, but I'll, I'll, still, be, I'll still give you credit, I'll still give you a little shout out, because, you know, if you're watching any of my videos, you're awesome. Or at least I think you're awesome. So, uh, alright, bye.